In the following videos, we are going to learn how to use basic drawing tools. Starting by the Line tool, as its name indicates, is a tool that creates lines. As you can see, I have already created a new drawing. I have purposefully selected the ACAD ISO template, as I'm going to draw in the metric system, and in addition, I want you to notice something later. Let's begin with the different ways of activating the tool. The Line tool can be found in both the Draw menu and the Ribbon if we look at the Home tab and the Panel Draw. Naturally, we can just type the word Line in the command line and press Enter to activate it. Personally, I prefer using the Ribbon to activate these tools, so I will click on the Line icon in the Ribbon. Once the tool is active, I have to click somewhere in the drawing area to define where the line starts. Notice that a message appears that prompts me to specify the first point of the line. I will click once and move the cursor to the right. Another message appears that prompts me to specify the next point of the line. If I don't care about the length and the angle of the line, I can click on a random spot to define the end of the line. In this example, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Even though the line is created, the tool remains active so I can continue drawing lines. If I want to create solely horizontal and vertical lines, I can restrict the cursor orthogonally by activating the ortho mode from the status bar. In case this icon does not appear in your computer, you can click on the customization icon in the lower right corner and check ortho mode. The icon will appear in the status bar and it will become a lighter shade of blue when it's active. With Ortho active, I will click again to create a horizontal line and then I will click once more to create a vertical one too. As you may have already understood, Ortho does not allow me to create a line with an angle different than 0, 90, 180 or 360 degrees. To create a closed profile automatically, I can choose Close from the command line. Before I click Close, I want you to take note that next to that option, there is the Undo option. By clicking Undo, you can delete the last line segment you created without deactivating the Line tool or erasing the whole line. You can click Undo if you have mistakenly created a line, but in my case, I do not need to do that. What I want to do, as I said earlier, is to create a closed profile, so I will select Close instead. Once I click on it, a line connecting the first and the last lines I drew is automatically created. Now I have a closed profile. I will select one of those lines and notice that they are indeed three independent line segments that can be modified separately. However, what happens when I want to create lines of certain length and angle? I will select the lines I previously drew and press Delete from my keyboard to delete them. I will also deactivate Ortho mode so I can move the cursor freely again. Imagine now that I want to create a line that is 5 meters long at an angle of 35 decimal degrees. I will activate the Line tool again and I will click to define the first point in a random place. Then, instead of clicking to define the next point, I will type the number 5 for the length. At this point, I will press the Tab key to activate the Angles field and lock the Length field. Once the active field changes, I will type the number 35 and press Enter. It seems that nothing happened, but in fact, the line has been created. In ACAD ISO template, you have to zoom in quite a lot when you're working with numbers under 500. So, to see the line I just created, I will roll the mouse wheel forward until the line appears large enough to see it clearly and pan to bring the line in the middle of the screen if needed. Now that I can finally see the line, I will create another one. This time the length will be 6 meters, so I will type the number 6 
and then press Tab to define the angle which will be 30 degrees. I will press Enter to create the line and then Escape to deactivate the tool. I can select the Line tool again to create more lines, but before I click on the Line icon once again, I want to show you something extremely helpful. In the status bar, there is the icon Object Snap, which is now active. In case this icon does not appear in your computer, you can easily add it to the status bar by clicking the customization icon and checking the option to the Object Snap. Next to the icon, there is an arrow. By clicking this arrow, a list with all the available snaps appears. Those snaps can be extremely helpful since they pull the cursor to certain points of the lines and shapes of a drawing. However, they can be extremely confusing when they are all active while working in a large project. In this example, we will learn two of them that are related to lines. End point and mean point. The end point pulls the cursor at the start or the end of a line segment and is represented by a green square, while midpoint pulls the cursor in the middle of a line segment and is represented by a green triangle. So with those two activated, I will select the line tool again and I will move the cursor close to the end of the second line. Notice that the green square appears, pulling the cursor at the end of the line. I will click on this point to define the first point of the line, lift the cursor horizontally, and type the number 3 to define the length. I will press Enter twice, once to create the line and once more to deactivate the tool. On these terms, if I wanted to create a line started from the middle of another line, I would select the Line tool, move the cursor around the middle of the line, and click to define the start of the line when the green triangle appeared. In this example though, I won't create another line, so I will just press Escape instead of specifying the next point of the line, to cancel the line's creation. So as you may have already noticed, creating a line in AutoCAD is an easy task, since we are provided with the right tools and some very helpful options to draw with precision exactly the profiles we need.